one loop around one of the legs, up over the back, and then around the other leg. Wait, hold on. School's out for summer. Why is this bird in a backpack? Let's ask Talia Curis, a PhD student from the University of New Hampshire. We are out at Loverland Creek Preserve today, banding and tagging uh, salt marsh sparrows with radio tags so that we can track and understand how they use uh, the marsh. Listen, I am the last person to complain about tiny birds in tinier backpacks, but why do the sparrows need to be tagged? We are interested in finding out how they use space, um, especially here at Loverland Creek Preserve which is a marsh where they often nest. They have a very good population size here and we want to be able to compare their space use here to other marshes that we monitor throughout their range that are experiencing uh, different methods of tidal marsh restoration. How do the backpacks get put on? These thin mesh devices that we use to catch our uh, adult birds when they're in flight. It's a very safe process. They don't become injured when they hit the net. The tags go on the bird using a leg loop harness which we put on essentially like a climbing harness. Just under a half gram each so they're very small very lightweight and they're solar powered and each of these tags is equipped um, with a little sticker which will take off when we tag the bird that sticker includes the tag's unique radio id all around us we have these eight foot poles on top of those poles are little boxes that also have a solar panel and a small antenna coming off when the birds fly through we can say okay this tag is being detected we can use that to triangulate where the bird actually is on the marsh